Hi everybody, I'm Argyle Fump. In this video, I'm going to play Dark Romance Winter Lily. There are some versions of this game that come with a bonus chapter that won't be included in this video. This video will only cover the main game. This is the opening cutscene. Answer me, Mirror. How can I stop this aging curse and attain eternal youth? Great Queen Nivelle, only the purest heart can break your curse and make you eternally young. It lies within a girl in the kingdom of Lancelot. She has had for me a pure soul. It can't be. The Princess of Winterhelm is alive? I thought she was dead. She is the only one to ever escape my wrath and survive. But not for long. So as you can see, this game is sort of based on... Snow White, if you've heard that fairy tale, because there's an evil queen, she's trying to attack the fairest maiden of the land, who is Princess Lily. Here we're gonna have the opening scene starring King William. William, King of Lancea, Princess Lily of Winterhelm is hiding in your kingdom. Give her to me and no harm shall come to your subjects. Don't try to escape. I know you're hiding her. Luther, let's teach this upstart monarch a lesson. It seems that Queen Novella has already captured Winterhelm, Princess Lily's kingdom. And it also seems that King William, we're playing as King William right now, King William of Lancia, doesn't know Princess Lily. Like, she is hiding in his kingdom, but it, it does seem that he doesn't know her. They are going to meet for the first time in a moment, and it, it's not going to be like, she's like, oh, hey, King William, I've met you before. No, they won't recognize each other. Her. It will be a surprise when, when they both meet each other. And this is a puzzle I... It's almost done, gosh. I, I was gonna explain how to solve the puzzle, but it's almost done! Darn. I got distracted. Well, this is a hidden objects challenge, and I'm gonna be quiet during this hidden objects challenge, because King William is going to explain his tragic love story. After the death of my father, the King of Lancea, I ascended to the throne and took his crown, and the responsibility for the lives of the people of the Kingdom of Lancea. Am I truly a king without a queen? The kingdom of Lancea needs a queen, both tender as a lily's petals and as fair as the ancient Greek titan Asthemus. When I find my betrothed, I won't hesitate to give her my mother's ring. We will ride into Lancea under its fluttering flags on my trusty horse, and I'll vow to love her as long as my heart is beating. I suppose that's not a super tragic love story. Uh, the story is he's a king and he needs someone to fall in love with. He wants someone to be his queen, but he hasn't found anyone yet. And here's a sign. It kind of indicates that Lancea is next door, but we're in Lancea right now. But then again, this looks like Winterhelm because everything's all covered with snow and ice. So I'm not entirely sure where we are right now. Novella did conquer Winterhelm. Has she conquered Lancea? Questions. I have questions. But I also have puzzles to solve. So after solving all these puzzles, I can open the door. This is going to give us a puzzle where you want to move the pieces around. 
So just like the puzzle that unlocked the hidden objects challenge, when you get a piece in the right spot, it's going to change colors, like this. So with this puzzle, I find it easier to completely finish the one on the bottom, then finish the one on the left, then finish the one on the right. I imagine you could do this puzzle in any order. You don't necessarily have to do bottom, left, right. Maybe you could do right, bottom, left. Or you could probably even just do parts of them. So like do two in the bottom and then one on the right and then two on the left. You know, mix, mix it up a bit. That is entirely possible, but this is my solution and it works fine. Yeah, it's a pretty good solution. Who are you? What do you want? You're King William? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not dumb. You are really the King of Lancea. Your Majesty, forgive my rudeness. I'm Lily, Princess of Winterhelm. The Witch Novella captured my kingdom and uses its residence to maintain her youth. But now she knows I'm alive, so I'm hiding here. What happened to you? Look at this wound. You've been struck by obsidian. We need to find an antidote or the poison from it will kill you. Do you understand? Poor King William. We switch from playing as King William to playing as Princess Lily. Princess Lily needs to find a cure for the obsidian poisoning very quickly, otherwise King William's gonna die. And looks like she just kind of confirmed uh, what, what I was saying, that her kingdom was captured by Queen Novella, so she started hiding in a nearby kingdom. Although she did not do that with the knowledge or consent of the monarch of the nearby kingdom. So this puzzle, what you need to do is move uh, these tokens. I I'm doing the easy mode solution. So the easy mode solution is seven left, seven left, three left, three left, and seven left. On a hard mode, you, you will have to go right. But easy mode, you only make moves to the left. So that, that's, that's a bit easier. Let's remove the obsidian. We're gonna need that in order to make the antidote. Creepy eyeball. Yeah, and <laughs> we just got a bunch of stuff here. Do we have everything? We've got the antidote base and the shard. Oh, hi! We do have everything. Well, good. That should help King William. Thank you for saving me, Princess Lily. Novella attacked me as well. She thought I was hiding you in my castle in Lancea, so she's headed there. My subjects are in danger. I must hurry. Uh, I've lost a lot of blood. I feel weak. Please, help me stop the bleeding. My bag is lying somewhere outside. This will let you open it. He's a very responsible person because his first thought is to save his kingdom. And he has good reason to be afraid because Novella pretty much has already conquered his kingdom. By the time we arrive at the castle, she's pretty much in charge of Lancia. Pretty much. It's through the doorway, which is closed, so we can't go through the doorway right now. So let's see, I use the oil can. And guess what? Angry, angry wolf. And the wolf, for whatever reason, decides it's time to play with a glove. Okay. Okay. Fine. Whatever. We're gonna open this chest. That will give us a hidden objects challenge. And this should uh, help us find something to help poor King William. So some of these items are a, a different color. Some are blue. Some are yellow. The blue items are items that you can find right away. Uh, the yellow items are hidden by puzzles. So like this one, I need to find four arrows? No, just three arrows. I need to find the arrows and put them in a quiver to get a quiver. 
Let's see, how can I find that mirror? Well, I opened that up to find a mirror. How do I get a scroll? Well, I cut this open to get a scroll. It's kind of interesting that uh, we, we have a reference to Lily's father and mother in this trunk. We're not going to hear anything about them for the rest of uh, this video, are we? Great. So, now we have the amulet, and let's use it on the wolf. That's pretty cool. Now I have wolf powers, and I can control wolves. And yeah, I should be able to use the wolf to go to the outside kingdom, but I I'm not going to go to the castle. Princess Lily can't go there, right? It's dangerous for her. So she gets the crowbar, using the glove. She's going to use that to melt this. What do we have? Ah, we have the bag. Yeah, the, the bag that King William was talking about. This is his diary. Should I really be reading his diary? No, that, that's pretty rude, in fact. Inside we have a, a bandage, as he promised. So we use the bandage on him to save him. Thank you again. You've saved me twice now. It's a pity we met under such dire circumstances, but I hope I see you again. I must go and defend my kingdom. Farewell, Lily, and be careful. Thank you, your majesty. I'll just stay here hiding in this cabin. That way Queen Novella won't find me. And we're gonna switch back to playing as King William. Gets on the wolf sleigh and goes straight to the castle. He's too late. Castle's already been conquered. Halt! Identify yourselves! <laughs> Greetings, my loyal guards. I order you to protect this castle from strangers. Capture everyone who will try to enter. Novella has mind control powers. I wonder why she didn't use them on King William. I guess maybe her powers only work on humans? Yeah, yeah, let's say her mind control powers don't work on humans. They, they only work on dwarves. We are going to see more dwarves when we get into the when we get to the castle. So our main goal here is to find a way into the castle. But in order to do that, we have to get across the bridge. So we're just going to be solving puzzles. Ah, it's a cute little squirrel. As as we've seen this early part of the game, it, it's it's fairly simple. If you know the correct order to look at places and use items, then it's very very simple. But that's true of every single game. If you know what to do ahead of time, then Pretty much a lot of video games are easy, easy to solve. Alright, so this is a puzzle. We need to get all these things to line up. As you can see, the levers change. So we've got three levers here on the left. One controls up and down, one controls right and up, the other controls left and up. After that, we have this cross over here on the right-hand side. You need to click when those levers are going up and down or left and right. When you click, they stop. You want them to stop in the green zone. So, green zone, green zone. And that's how you solve the puzzle. Now that William can go across the bridge and reach the gates. More dark magic. Oh, man. Yep. So, the queen... Novella has already conquered the kingdom, and what do we have here? Hello there, handsome. I saw you before. Wait, you're King William of Lansea! I helped my friend, Princess Lily, run away after Novella attacked and seized her kingdom. I tried to find that witch's weak spot, but her guards caught me. And here I am. I heard Lily is hiding in your kingdom now. Novella has just captured Lansea. She'll drain the youth from all the girls in your kingdom. 
You must stop her. If you free me, I'll help you fight that witch. So that's the fairy which helped Princess Lily escape. And it's very convenient. She happens to be right here. So we're going to build a fire to melt these things. I need to find the pieces of the fire. I'm going to destroy this. And that's a fire item as well as a puzzle that we can't solve quite yet. See, it's too damp. I, I can't can't start the fire so what I need to do is dump the alcohol on it and then start the fire and will that melt both of those items it should all right we have a key and one of two pieces of the puzzle the key obviously goes in the locked box over here that gives me those two items we go back to the gates and we can solve this puzzle now that we have all the tiles. This is not too difficult of a puzzle, but you'll notice whenever you like click on a piece, all the other pieces move to the left. That's how it works. So it is a little tricky in that sense. So I find a secret lever and I pull the secret lever that gives me a secret entrance to the castle. But uh oh, I just got captured. you too. Come on, if you can free me, I'll go for help. Together, I know you and Lily can defeat Nabella. It is fortunate for King William that the guards don't recognize him. And this is a hidden objects challenge. It's a kind of tricky hidden objects challenge. No, 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 really. I mean, all the figurines we're finding are decorations on this gate, but you'll notice I am taking my time and not finding any of the items it's definitely a hidden objects challenge that I would use the hint button for there's a hint button in the lower right and I would just use it over and over and over again to get through this hidden objects challenge all right so I used it for the final thing on the hidden objects challenge but really that's a tough challenge and this goes over here this is kind of an interesting puzzle. So we're trying to make these shapes. But you need to figure out where to make them. So that's shape number one. And every single time we're sort of making a shape in the upper left. Not, not completely in the upper left, but sort of in the upper left, yeah? There we go. So that's how we make those symbols. Thank you. I'll be back right away with some help for you. So did they put the fairy inside a cage? Inside a larger cage? Lily! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I have bad news. The Obsidian Warriors have captured King William. We have to save him. I just know the two of you can defeat Nabella. Have you met Prosper the Alchemist? Look, I know he seems a little crazy, but he's really smart. He's got to know a way to stop Nabella's Obsidian Warriors. Prosper lives deep in the forest. I could take you there, but I'm feeling famished. Do you have something I could eat? Here, I'll trade you this for some food. Deal? If you examine the oven in the previous section where you were playing as Princess Lily, there would be a, a dialogue bubble about, hey, I can make some food here. So it's almost like Lily knew she was going to end up making food. So we're going to grab these items here. And what do you know, those items will be perfect for making food. Crown goes here for a key. Yeah, so I mean, we, we've been through these areas before. So I guess you could say that we, we solved like 80% of the puzzles on these two screens. And now we're solving the, the final 20% of the puzzles on those two screens. 
And yeah, we still need to bake the food. We still need to bake the food. We're almost done. And once we're done with this, we'll be going to Prosper's place. I feel like it's an extra step to make like this jam. This is a complicated recipe. I would have just made the bread by itself rather than including a jam filling. Because I feel like that's an extra step which would take me at least 20 extra minutes in real life. In fact, I probably would just give the fairy the jam right away. That would have been helpful. Delicious! I'm feeling full of energy now! Come on, let's go see Prosper! Alright, Daisy is going to lead us to Prosper. Prosper lives this way! Follow me! We'll have to pass through the maze, but I know the way! Trust me! It is interesting how there's a little maze in between this house and Prosper's house. So this maze is a puzzle. First, we need to find the three pieces of ice, and then we need to do a jigsaw puzzle. Now you'll notice we have a lot of snowflake pieces, right? Not all of them get used in this puzzle. Yeah, it looks like only half of them are going to be put on the board. Uh, three of them do not get used. So that makes this puzzle tricky, because there are three pieces you have to ignore. Alright, so same thing here. We find three pieces. And then we have this jigsaw puzzle. I wonder how many pieces will be left behind this time. Looks like, once again, three of the pieces don't get used. Almost there. In fact, I dare say, I would just walk forward without needing to uh, go through the maze. Because I can clearly see a house if I go forward, right? That's got to be the correct house. Once again, three pieces don't get used. Yeah, just go straight forward. It's clear that's the only pathway that leads to a house. I can see the smoke coming from the chimney. So I have to solve a few puzzles here just to get through the doorway. I've only got two items. I've got a magnet on a rope. And whatever my other item is. The magnet on a rope is used immediately. That gives us the metal ring, which will be used on the door knocker. Ah, oh, the other item is an awl. I'm just going to solve a few puzzles here outside. Just, just solve all the puzzles I can before actually going inside this guy's house. And it looks like we're making ourselves a pair of pliers. And I'll use the door ring now. Great. I've only got the pliers in my inventory. That's my only item. Unexpected guests! You came at just the right time. I'm Prosper, and I'm conducting a little experiment, but uh, it had a slight hiccup, as you can see. I need your help. Can you bring me a reverse transformation potion? Normally, I keep one handy, but I've forgotten where I put it. If you find it, I can help you. So Prosper is very much not surprised to find that he turned himself into a tree, basically. Okay, I use the pinchers there, giving me more items, which is good because I had no items in my inventory left. Huh, thank you so much. Have we met before? Your face looks so... Oh, why, you're the missing princess. How delightful! Now the people of Winterhelm will have hope again. And you found my friend Daisy. What a blessing you two are. If you're fighting Novella, you'll need a book of obsidian curses. Luckily, I have one on my shelf. I can help you create an artifact to break the curse, but I can't make it myself. My previous transformation had some side effects, and I'm unable to move well. You'll have to brew it yourself. Here, you'll need this. 
So previously we helped King William when he had a bit of obsidian stuck in him. Well, we're gonna have to do the same thing. We're gonna have to break the curse on those two guards. Because it's an obsidian curse. So they're the obsidian warriors now. And what do we do here? Let's see, I can grab that item. I'm gonna need three papers there. I only have two papers. Is this one of the papers? No, it's not. That's a completely different paper. I'm putting ingredients here. I'm opening up that scepter. And going back outside. Whistle gets rid of that bird so I can grab these items. And that's the third paper. Great. So I put the three papers over here for a hidden object challenge. Kind of a tricky hidden objects challenge, but I've seen trickier ones. You have to move things left and right, as well as up and down. So I'm getting that piece there. So I'm trying to move the outlines on the things that they match. You notice when I get a thing into place, like I'm trying to get the mask there in the lower left. When it's close enough, it will just snap into place. So that makes it a bit bit easier to solve this hidden objects challenge. I think this is the only hidden objects challenge like this in the entire game where you have these two sliders. There we go. Now if you don't want to do hidden objects challenges, you could play match three. There's a button for that. On the upper right, you click on that button and it takes you to a match three puzzle. So instead of, say, finding ten items on the hidden objects list, you need to make, say, 30 matches on the match three puzzle. That's the way that works. So we get all the ingredients here, and you can see this puzzle. We need to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those numbers refer to the order, so you do number one first, then number two, then number three, then number four. Now, silly me, I thought those numbers referred to the amounts. So it's like, okay, I put one of this piece, three of this piece, six of this piece. Nope, 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 that's not how the puzzle's solved. Those numbers refer to order. And there we go, that should be the potion. We just need to find a way to get it to the king. Oh, we're putting it in the scepter first? I guess we can do that. Sure, why not? Just moving it from one container to another container. You did everything just right. Not everyone can brew such an antidote, let alone for the first try. You have a talent, my dear. Here, give me the scepter. I'll deliver it to King William for you. Oh. I guess it's nice of him to deliver it. Whoa! He turned himself into a crow! Wow! Yeah! King William. I'm Prosper the Alchemist. Princess Lily asked me to give you this. With this scepter, you can break the curse on the royal guards. However, you must be careful. Novella is cursed to grow a year older each day, and Lily is the key to breaking her curse. Not only will Lily be in danger, but she'll be unstoppable with eternal youth. Take this. It will help you free the guards. Now, I must fly home to restore my power. Good luck. There are two very interesting things he just mentioned. I will talk about them after the scene which is happening. Oh, my head. Thanks. The name Soldier in your majesty. Nivella bewitched us. I don't know what I was doing. Nivella is controlling all the guards. 
so you can't enter through the gates. There is a secret passage, but it's risky, since Nivella knows about it. Take this. It's all I have to give. Unfortunately, I can't go with you. I'm weak from that wretched curse. Okay, there are three things I have to talk about. Number one, Soldrin calls her Nivella. Everybody else calls her Nivella. Maybe he just has a regional accent. Uh, number two, interesting that that uh, um, the alchemist Prosper says he has to go home and recharge his power. So he can't be in bird form forever. I wonder what he does to recharge his power. I is there something else he can uh, use his powers for? Like maybe he can transform into other animals? I, I don't know, I just think it's that's an interesting prospect. And this is a pretty difficult puzzle, yeah. Let me talk about the third thing, though, that he mentioned. Uh, Nivella's curse. That she is cursed to grow uh, a year older every single day. We saw that with the opening cutscene where she's looking in the mirror, but this is, I believe, the first time in the actual game where we've addressed that story. Yeah, so... I, I don't know who cursed her or how that curse happened, but that's why she is draining youth from all the various maidens of the various kingdoms. It, it's because she's growing a year older each day, so she needs to steal lots of years to avoid becoming older. It makes me wonder what would happen if her plan was to simply stop the curse. However, her plan is clearly making herself live forever. She's clearly going for eternal youth. So that that's different from stopping her aging curse. Doesn't matter either way. We need to save the, the women of this kingdom. We don't... Does the, the spell only work on women? Does it work on men as well? <laughs> and unfortunately, Novella's guard, Luther, is here. He was waiting for me, and he locked me in this dungeon. That's terrible. I mean, poor King William, he's locked in his own dungeon. Yeah, I have to imagine that this spell, th this anti-aging spell, uh, must work on uh, both men and women. And it shouldn't be called an anti-aging spell, because it's not really. It's like, I'm stealing... Novella's just stealing years from other people to make herself live longer. I do wonder what the ratio is. Is it that she steals one year of somebody's life and that gives a year to her own life? Is, is it a one-to-one -one ratio? What happens if somebody, like, dies unexpectedly? That happens sometimes. So, you know, she expects to steal 40 years of life from this victim, but it turns out the victim was going to die in a terrible accident in two years. So does that mean Novella can only steal two years from that person, or can she steal the full 40 years that she's trying to steal? Or is it maybe the case that she only steals 38 extra years? We are going to see her use the spell a little bit later on, where, where she casts it on Lily, but that's like at the very, very end of this game, and we quickly undo the spell and the years go right back to Lily. So these are just random questions that are popping into my head. I would like to know more about the story. I'm having trouble with this hidden objects challenge, clearly. Yeah. Oh, hint button, hint button. And then the XII is there. Interestingly enough, King William is not going to be exploring his castle quite yet. He's actually going to solve this puzzle. And this puzzle is a pretty tough puzzle. What you need to do is move these rings so they match. So I'm trying to indicate what I should do here, right? I'm trying to get that bow and arrow swapped with the fleur de lis. And there, you see it's correct. So now I need to move the science thing. I'm going to swap it with 
that skull, because the skull needs to go in that place. And now you can see the upper right-hand wheel is completely finished. Completely done, all the tokens are green, indicating they're correct. So next I'm uh, swapping these two swords with that horse. Just making selections. Okay, I need to switch that with that. Because the, these things that you can highlight, you can highlight the wheels, and you can highlight... You can see that half of each wheel is is connected to a diamond shape that, that you can swap. So it is hard to click in the right spot. It's very easy to accidentally mess up. Like right there, that was me accidentally messing up. I clicked the up and down spot instead of the turn clockwise spot. It's a simple enough puzzle when you get the uh, basic idea correct. And look, we only have two tokens to swap. That's good. Done. Greetings, King William. I am Maya, Queen of the Dwarves. This prison was built by my people, so we know about the secret passage. I'm surprised you know of it. My husband, King Luther, has been cursed by Novella, forcing him to serve her. Luther knows how to defeat Novella, but I'll need your help fighting her magic. Our kingdoms must unite to stop Novella. Someone's coming. Hurry, we must go. So that is interesting. Luther knows the way to stop Novella. We're gonna have to free Luther just to learn the secret of defeating Novella. Gosh, and once again, Luther is waiting for me. Luther, please stop. You must fight it. He's right there, ready to capture me. It's no use. <laughs> <laughs> Luther is under my control. You fools are no match for my magic. So she's casting the aging spell here. Don't go. I need your heart, William. I can feel your affection for Lily. Your heart will lead me right to you. I mean, William likes Lily, but he only met her once. <laughs> you must live, William. Breathe. Be strong and fight. I beg you. The crystal heart I've put in your chest will help you live for some time. But it's not forever. You must find your true love to turn it into a real heart. We need Luther's help, but we'll have to knock some sense into him first. Nivella is using a controlling crown to force him to obey her. If you destroy the crown, her charms will dissipate and Luther will be himself again. He's in the realm of dwarves now. There's a tunnel to the dwarven underground in the dungeon. Interesting, because I was in the prison cell. Wasn't I just in the dungeons? Anyway, we need to open that door. That's going to be our goal of this area. Very interesting that my heart apparently was ripped out by Novella, but luckily Maya had a replacement heart. And yeah, so the aging spell was cast on... On the queen, she seems to have gotten visibly older while Novella got younger, so we did get to see that spell in action. I wonder why she let... I, I, I wonder why she let the Dwarf Queen live while she deliberately killed me, King William. We're not gonna see the Dwarf Queen again, by the way. That's something which is a little odd. So this is simple enough. We're solving puzzles between the library and the throne room. Only two screens. We are going to come back to this area later and solve puzzles. Basically, what's going to happen is we solve puzzles in these rooms. I don't know how many puzzles we solve. Say like 60% of the puzzles in these two rooms. 
then we switch the princess lily and then we'll come back and finish off these rooms once we get rid of that bear so we'll see that in about a minute not not too far so this is a puzzle where you want to rotate these symbols make them all match so the twins go there and the bull goes with the bull ring, whereas the person pouring water goes with the water. It's kind of a tough puzzle because you have to know what the matches are. That seems to be the real difficulty of the puzzles, figuring out where those matches go. As opposed to moving the things around. That That's not so tough. So the hint tells me I forgot that thing there. It's thing number three to the door. Oh, King William, I'm so glad you're safe and sound. There are rumors in the forest that you were killed. I don't know who's spreading these fake rumors about me. And hey, could you look at the bear for a moment? The scar on this bear's face looks so familiar. Oh my, this must be Edmund, the King of Winterhelm and Lily's father. Perhaps he'll help us if we turn him back into a human. Uncle Prosper is keen on preparing potions. He'll know the exact ingredients he needs to undo this spell. Interesting. So, the king was turned into a bear. That's surprising. And we're gonna go back to Lily. She, well, I'm gonna solve some puzzles here first, but then we'll go back to Lily. And I, I feel like she should know how to undo the spell. Or not she, it, it will be uh, Prosper who can undo that spell on the king. Of course, we have to solve a bunch of puzzles, as always. Use the scoop over here. That gives me part of the puzzle upstairs, so we're gonna have to go upstairs to solve it, right? It's the hidden objects challenge. Ah! First we have this puzzle where we just slide the pieces around. You want to get the yellow pieces in the spots as indicated on that map in the lower right. I guess you want to call it a map. I guess it's a diagram. Whatever you call it, use it to solve the puzzle. Great, that gives me acid. I'll use it to get this medallion. As well as that gem. I open up the medallion and put the medallion pieces in place for a puzzle. With this puzzle, you just click on the pieces to rotate them. And I believe this confirms that the bear is Lily's father. Hey, and that gives me a gear. What do you know? Gear goes over here for a hidden object challenge. Interesting thing to have in the library. It's just like a miniature map of the kingdom. Although, is it this kingdom? Let's see. So, Winterhelm Castle. That's going to be the castle over on the right. So... Lansea's castle is pretty close to Winterhelm Castle. You can see how Prosper's house is in between the two castles. Alright, so the two of them are very, very close. I can see why Princess Lily decided to hide there. Yeah, so she, she didn't want to be too far away from her own home kingdom. Great, and so now we have this. Great job! I'm sure Lily and Prosper will find a way to return the king to his former self. And now we'll switch over to Lily. 
now that we have the ingredients that are needed to undo the bear spell. Lily, your father is alive! Novella turned him into a bear! I recognized him by the scar on his face! Don't worry, dear. King William is keeping him safe! We'll need Prosper's help to prepare the reversing potion. I'm sure- Here's a list of what we'll need. I'm sure Prosper will help. It would be very rude if he's like, No, I'm not helping you. I won't make that potion. Blech. My winter garden is full of all sorts of useful ingredients. You can use the secret passage under the floor to access it. Good. So we're going to go to the winter garden. And Prosper's gone. We're never going to see him again. I don't know where he goes. Why doesn't he stick around to help us? I don't know. Conveniently... His winter garden also contains a passageway leading directly to the castle. So Lily can go to the castle now. That's good, because King William's been the one who's in the castle having the adventures. Uh, you no, know, Lily has been helping, sure, but I feel it's time for her to take a more active role in saving the kingdoms. So we go back outside. We need to finish with the puzzles here. Like, we put the golem's heart in the place. And we have those plants we needed to cut. Oh, and this is interesting. Prosper's not sure what you could use a, a beauty potion for. It's a beauty potion, Prosper. Couldn't you sell it as it is? It seems like you could just sell a beauty potion the way it is and not have to make any changes. And somebody would buy it. All right, so we, we cut those branches, we dig here, and that's going to be it for that area. Let's go back inside. We're using the beauty potion here on the plant. And now it's a beautiful, beautiful plant, meaning I can grab the thing behind it. Which is silly because, you know, I should be able to just walk around the plant and grab the item from behind. You know, grab it from the other side. So this is Prosper's little underground workshop. I found the puzzles here to be kind of difficult. I don't know why this particular area bugged me, but it did. This is an okay puzzle. What you need to do is move... Actually, you know what? Not an okay puzzle. Kind of a pain. What you need to do is move the various pipes. So the pipes are all pointing towards some kind of flower. That way, all the flowers will be watered. Problem is, when you click on one pipe, it often moves another pipe. And so, it, it just moves too many pipes. Because I have to keep going back to the left-hand side, and like, oh, I keep getting a pipe in place. And then, I, I move another pipe, and it undoes the pipes I've already gotten in place. And that happens too often for my liking. And now I have to go all the way back to the start again. Oh, oh, and now I have to go all the way over here. It's it's like it's never ending. Okay. Well, the puzzle is over now. It has ended, actually. So that's good. That gives me a flower. The flower gives us the windmill, which obviously goes on the windmill. Which does seem a little bit odd, right? It's like a windmill for a windmill. I mean, okay, that makes sense. We're just replacing a broken item with an item of the same type. But I, I don't know. That doesn't seem like a normal thing. How many other uses could we have for a windmill, I suppose? Instead of just using a windmill as a windmill. I don't know. I'm just complaining. Anyway, hey, we've made ourselves some reversing potion. That's good. That's the potion we need to save the king. Great, so we fulfilled our main goal in, in, in going through this area. But now we need to give the per potion to William. And, you know, if Prosper hadn't just walked off for no reason, he could deliver the potion for us, right? And what happened to my fairy friend? Daisy, can't you carry the potion to the king? Where did Daisy go? It looks like uh, Prosper already had a grudge against Novella. That's basically the gist of that paper. He's like, oh, she can't capture my kingdom. I'm going to fight her. I'm going to help the, the king. 
and we open up that area. It, it gives us access to the backyard. I thought this was kind of strange. We have a mechanical hawk, and that's what we need to fix in order to get the potion to King William. Instead of using the fairy, which we've used before. That's basically how this game works. You've probably picked up on the fact that William and Lily are constantly just trading items to each other, so Lily goes forward until she gets stuck, and she's like, Hey, William, can you give me an item? And then he's like, Sure, and then he goes until he's stuck, and, and then... You know, they're just swapping items with each other. So, for example, at the start of this Lily segment, he gave her the recipe uh, ingredients, and now... She's going to end the segment by getting the actual potion to him. So I'm going to grab those items there. Go over here for a hidden object challenge. Ooh, yeah, this hidden object challenge. I don't know why this one seems kind of difficult for me. Maybe it's because like the middle of the screen is kind of build. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's not that tough, especially if you, if you use the hint button. That will help you out a lot. Almost done with this. We need to clean that area off first. There we go, that gives us a hammer. Or a lens, sorry. Lens goes over here for an astronomy puzzle. Well, that's not an astronomy puzzle at all, actually. It's uh, move pictures around in order to form a larger picture. And this one is a tough puzzle. Many, many steps, as you can see. You sort of have to plan ahead. So I'm sort of forming the correct picture you saw. I was forming the correct picture sort of on the left-hand side so I can move it to the right. And then I have to move this here, and now I've got the correct picture in the middle. And now I'm just moving the pieces around on the outside edges. Pretty close to done, right? Yeah, that puzzle. <laughs> Alright, it gives us... What on earth does it give us? It gave us some sort of mechanical thing, I suppose. I'm gonna want to grab those ants, and I'm gonna use the magic over here. If you click on it, you get a hint, which emphasizes the fact that it's metallic, so that's, that's helpful. I'm gonna grab that in order to... Oh, and we need to melt that, but that's gonna be our next segment. We're going all the way back over here, and we're using the saw blade in place. Giving us these items. I should mention, we are getting like three different things to fix that mechanical bird. That's what our overall goal is. I haven't looked at the bird thing, but trust me, that's what we're using it for. Honey jar goes over there. That collects the termites. They're not ants, they're termites, and I'm immediately going to use them here because that is the only way we could have opened that thing. Didn't we just use a saw blade? Why can't we use a saw blade? Why do we have to use termites? I don't know. I'm just being a little complainer pants. So we open up this. That shows the various items that we need to get. We have all those items. And now it's fixed. And this bird will deliver the items to King William. I guess I'm a, a bit of a complaining pants, but I was not a fan of that Princess Lily segment. Not sure why that segment just stood out as a segment which annoyed me. Uh, now we're going back to William. He's got the potion and he can save Lily's father. Thank you, William. 
I was afraid I'd be stuck in this horrendous body forever. I hid Lily in the woods before Novella could capture Winterhelm. Then Novella turned me into a bear to try to get Lily to come and save me. I'm glad to hear that the trap failed. You'll need to repair the minecart to reach the abandoned underground city. Take this. You may need it in the future. So that's interesting. He was very much involved in helping Lily escape Novella. But I thought Novella didn't know Lily had escaped. As we saw in the opening scene, she was surprised to learn that Lily was still alive. So if she was surprised to learn that Lily is still alive, how does that jive with the fact that she's actively using Lily's father as a trap to lure Lily back into the castle? Maybe she did the king trap? She must have set up the trap with the father after learning Lily was still alive. But that means she spared the king's life, and then why? Well, we're going to learn more about the queen, too, uh, as well. And this is a mean thing. She's saying, ha ha ha, I'm, I'm controlling Luther. Ha ha ha, he's an idiot. I'm in control. There's a bit more to the paper than that. It wasn't just her writing down, ha ha ha, I'm evil. Look at me, ha ha, aren't I so evil? No, she's not that evil. But she is. She is definitely a villain. So let's see. We'll, we'll we'll wait. We're gonna learn more about the queen, as I said. We're going to, we're going to meet the queen. So we'll see what Novella did to the queen. She did not turn the queen into a bear, by the way. So this is uh similar to that first puzzle in the game, where we had to move the animal pieces in in order to open the door where Lily is. It's basically a slider puzzle. In this particular case, we are sliding these designs into groups of three. So each one is going to go in its specific spot until it is done. This one's a bit more complicated. It's got a lot more moving pieces than, than that than the animal slider puzzle as well. So it's almost like you practically have to make Make a complete match, then move all these things out of the way. So you'll notice I got all three of the light blue ones done, and I have to move them out of the way to get the darker blue ones. And again, I have to move these pieces out of the way. I'm just trying to move a spot, make a spot for the dark blue one, so the dark blue one can go home. Done. The puzzle takes a while, but I still like it. I still like it. I don't find it tedious at all. Alrighty, we get to use the hook over here. Gives us part of this wheel. Crowbar goes over here. Giving us a metal hoop. Our goal is making this wheel. We, we're going to use the metal hoop along with that part we found. And this should give us access to the downstairs area, the Dwarf Kingdom. William the Runaway. I knew that Maya would help you. The mirror told me that you're in love with Lily. It's too bad that her soul belongs to me. Darn, once again, Novella is ready and prepared to attack us. Jeez. Yeah, well, at least this explained this time. She had the magic mirror. Magic mirror is... Where did she get that magic mirror? I have questions, because that magic mirror is sort of a traitor. If the magic mirror has been telling her all along what I've been up to... Yeah! And why is the magic mirror insisting I'm in love with Lily? I only met her once. She helped me when I was sick and dying. And yeah, I like her a lot. But saying we're true lovers is going a bit too far. I only met her earlier today for about five minutes. And then again, he has been sort of communicating with her. They have been helping each other, so that's nice. And this is a new new area, as you can see. We're, we're hanging around the Dwarf Kingdom now. This is an okay puzzle. You want to find the two parts of the first medallion. 
Then we're gonna find the two parts of the next medallion. Then the two parts of the next medallion. And it's really easy with the final one, because you know what the two parts are. It's the two parts we haven't used yet. Interesting. It just grows like four crystals, and then the statue moves, and now we get a hidden objects challenge. Like, what did that puzzle have to do with growing crystals? What does growing crystals have to do with moving the statue? And what does that have to do with the hidden objects challenge? I don't know. But we do have a kind of a unique thing with that hidden objects challenge of the, it's split into two halves. The first half was mis matching designs with the triangle symbols. And then the second half is traditional hidden objects where you just find the outline pieces at the bottom of the screen. That gives us a valve handle. We're going to use it here. No, we're not, actually. Um, okay, fine. We're going to use the belt there to grab that knife. This is where I use the valve handle. That just happened to be inside the, the fountain. Okay, why does the fountain have a, a can opener? I don't know. And this is cool. This is a cool machine. It makes fuel. Now we're not going to make the fuel yet. I think we're going to make the fuel in the second segment we have here in this location. So, William's gonna step back here. Just dump water on the king. Wake him up that way. Huh? Oh, I certainly didn't miss being knocked out at all. Thank you, William. You must steer Luther back into our fold so we can fight Nivella. I'll only slow you down in my condition. Take this. I managed to tear it off Luther's neck when he attacked. Hmm. So when did Luther attack him? Because when they fell into the Dwarf Kingdom, that was 100% Novella attacking them, right? Maybe this was an earlier attack? Anyway, we, we get this bridge, and that's going to make Luther appear right here. Well, I guess not make him appear. He was already there. We're gonna trap him. He's conveniently standing right underneath a cage. So let's just drop the cage on him. You'll regret ever crossing me once I get out of this cage, boy! Mal is very angry, but as we previously learned from his wife, this crown is controlling him. It's an evil crown. So all we need to do is destroy it by throwing it in lava. I think it's odd that this is a puzzle. Because there's lava everywhere in this area, I should be able to just throw it in the river of lava behind the cage. And we're going to step back after I solve these puzzles. We're going to step back and you'll see there's, there's a lot more lava just hanging around. Use the crossbow over here so I can reach that thing, which is way too high up. Get those items. And use this here. It gives me part of the map. And you'll see lots of lava there. I could throw it in the lava by the Hidden Objects Challenge. I could throw it in the lava over here. It feels like that would be... This puzzle's kind of tough. This puzzle's... It's actually not that bad, but you do have to plan many steps in advance. That's what makes it tough. And it's done. That's the correct solution to the puzzle. That gives me a crank as well as another item. We're going to use the crank immediately. The crank goes right there, you can see. It's pretty obvious to see that's where the crank goes. We're going to come back later to fix that. Fix the ladder. So those berries lure the fire salamander to me, although I'm not going to use the fire salamander quite yet. Use the claw to open up this. Two more items. Excellent. Back over here, we're fixing the ladder. Okay. 
that lets me reach this top shelf. Good, that gives me the third eagle head, so that opens up this thing, which has the lava. The lava fountain. Crown in the lava fountain and Luther. Oh, wait, we have a puzzle first. Mm. This puzzle is okay. You want to get the lava to be at the bottom, so it has to perfectly match that line. And you have to add and subtract numbers in order to make this happen. So it's sort of a math puzzle. Thank you for breaking this horrible enchantment, King William. Novella has never had power like this before. We must find a way to stop her. Your mother, Queen Grace, knows too much about Novella's weaknesses. The witch captured her and is holding her in Winterhelm. Lily must find Queen Grace and learn about Novella's weaknesses. The princess is in great danger as long as Novella is there. I'd like to pay you back for freeing me. This is my own invisibility cloak. I'll send it to Lily, so that she can enter Winterhelm Castle unnoticed. That's kind of a big deal, isn't it? That, uh... William's mother, the Queen, is still alive. That's kind of a surprise. Alrighty. So how does this tie to the fact that uh, Lily's father is still alive? Hmm. I guess when Queen Novella took over kingdoms, she decided to keep a royal alive in both cases. Wow. Now, I'm surprised that this castle is Winterhelm Castle. I totally thought this was the exact same castle that King William's in. But no! different castle, because King William's in Lansea Castle, right? And we were quite clearly told this is Winterhelm Castle. Kind of makes sense that she, she's keeping the, the queen from one kingdom inside the castle of another kingdom. That makes sense in terms of, well, you wouldn't expect to find... You'd expect the queen to be in her own kingdom, not in a different kingdom. So now we're going to make the axe here, and we are going to get rid of that raccoon. And that's it. We're finished with this area it's outside the castle. We're going to go to the castle right now. I won't let you ruin my plans, Grace. I may not have time for you now, but you will see the full extent of my wrath later. Maybe Novella can just transport herself from one kingdom to another. Who are you? Where am I? I'm sure you don't mean me any harm, but I'm afraid that I can't help you. I don't remember anything that happened before I met Novella. This medallion. The face on it looks so familiar. I think I've seen this person before, but I don't remember him. Was he someone important in my life? You must be connected to him somehow since you have his picture in your locket. I'm so confused. Please help me get out of this well so that we can sort things out. It's a picture of your son. This is a picture of your son, Queen Grace. So Queen Grace doesn't remember anything for her. We're going to have to restore her memory and solve a bunch of puzzles here while we're at it. Oh, and messenger pigeons. Okay, so I guess we can use one of these pigeons to send a message to uh, King William, and, and so on and so forth. We've been doing a lot of communicating between our two main characters. No need to stop now, right? They, they will continue being in constant contact. So 
this is a hidden objects challenge. I did not like this hidden objects challenge. I think it's because we have too many bird puzzles. It's like too many puzzles to find the birds. I had to draw the owl, and I had to put the one bird there, and the other bird wing there, and I have to open up that, that with the key to find a bird. And there's a bunch of fake out birds here too. Like there's a bunch of birds here that we are not selecting because they are not the solutions to the puzzle. So maybe, oh, and another bird puzzle as well. So maybe too many bird puzzles and, and then too many birds that are there but are not the correct birds. I understand those birds are there as a fake out, but we only saw the outlines of the birds. And so I can't really, recognize birds by their outlines, if that makes sense. It kind of makes me want to say a bird is a bird. Like, if you just show me the silhouette of a pigeon, and the silhouette of a raven, and the silhouette of a crow, and they're all about the same size, I really would not be able to identify those three birds just based on their silhouettes. But that's what the puzzle asks you to do. It expects you to recognize the birds based on the silhouettes. And that was just something I could not do. And this is important. We need to clean that lamp. But first, yeah, this is interesting because this room is called the Witch's Hut. But we never actually see the witch in question. And we are going to learn that Queen Grace is hiding something inside here. So it just make you wonder, hmm, whose hut is this? Why is this person agreeing to let Queen Grace hide something important here? And remember, Queen Grace is not in her own kingdom, right? This is the Winterhelm Castle. So she's hiding something in the neighboring castle, a house in, near the neighboring castle. An interesting story idea, I suppose. Yeah, because this is Winterhelm Castle. She's the Queen of Lancia. She's William's mom, not Lily's mom. Thank you. It feels good to be free, even if I can't remember who I am. Oh dear, how can I be a queen if I can't remember my own name? Perhaps there is something nearby that will jog my memory. I found this in the well. It may be useful later. Why does she think having a memory makes her the queen? It's like, it doesn't matter if you can't remember anything, you're still the queen, right? Queen with amnesia remains a queen? This is a simple puzzle. You want to swap pieces and then rotate pieces. In this case, I'm playing on easy mode, so I, I only have to make one swap. This game, uh, I'll point out the next time we have puzzles, but a lot of the puzzles have an easy mode and a hard mode. So unlike several other Dark Romance games, like Dark Romance, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Dark Romance, Curse of Bluebeard, those, those games default to hard mode puzzles every single time. Whereas uh, this game, you have some customization settings. So you can choose whether you want it to default on hard mode or easy mode. For the purposes of this video, Lily I... was born during a heavy snowstorm. It was so cold that her life was in immediate danger. I defaulted to easy mode in this video. So you can see on the far right underneath the big X, we have easy and hard mode. That's how you switch between the two modes. The question mark gives a description of how to solve the puzzle, in case you have no idea what this puzzle is. And the button below the question mark is a reset button. The local witch cast a special spell on her to save her life. Now Lily's blood is literally blue, and her youth and beauty are frozen in place. This is an interesting idea. So Lily's kind of frozen in time? Really? Hmm. The spell also made her immune to all diseases and slowed her aging. Thankfully, she is as kind as she is beautiful. 
So the fact that Lily is aging has been slowed down is probably why she is instrumental to Novella stopping the aging curse. Because slowed aging plus fast aging equals normal aging, right? That's interesting, we got a picture of Lily there. It sort of looked like she was doing ballet, but there's nothing else in this game that indicates, hey, Lily is a ballerina. Just that one picture inside her own castle. It is her own castle. It makes sense that there would be pictures of, of her. Yeah, I kind of wish there were more references to the fact that this is Lily's castle, so she really should know where things are and how to move around and such. Like, this should not be an unfamiliar place to her. Although it is an unfamiliar place to the players, because players have never been here before. So we're making the memory potion. That's why I was grabbing here. I find it funny that the ingredients are basically memory potion and then... Well, the game calls them winter cherries, but they're raspberries. It, so I, I just find it funny that one of the major ingredients in the memory potion is memory potion. Like, how is this different from cherry flavored memory potion? I think I remember. I am Grace, the Queen of Lancia. Novella chose to deprive me of my memory instead of killing me. A queen makes a valuable hostage. Novella's weakness is her mirror. It has a twin hidden in Luther's underground realm. If we destroy the twin, Novella's mirror will also lose its powers. Luther hid the mirror in the Dwarven treasury. The seal on the door can only be destroyed by the hellish fire of an Ofrit. I used to have a lamp with an Ofrit inside. Even though you've restored some of my memories, I still can't remember where the lamp is now. Find the lamp. The Ofrit inside won't obey anyone but me, but may be more cooperative if you show it this medallion. We've already seen the magical lamp, and we've already freed Luther from Novella's mind control. So, we've done some good work already, huh? Getting pretty close to what we have to do, and it does make sense that we have to destroy uh, Novella's magic mirror, because she used that to spy on us and figure out what we're doing. Yeah, so I needed to grab that item and go over here. I put the gemstones in. Go back over here. Put the piano keys in place. Do 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 do. I did like that music. It's very nice. It gives us the key to this chest. We're grabbing these items. We're gonna melt this. Giving us more items. And I believe the crystal's gonna go here for a puzzle. So this puzzle, you want the light to bounce off the various mirrors. And you want it to reach the crystal in the upper left and the crystal in the upper right. There are multiple solutions. This is one of them. That gives me a hidden objects challenge. Oh man, I do not like this hidden objects challenge. I use hints the entire way through. Because we've got two rows of feathers, so look, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 24 different feathers. Yeah, and we need to make matches across these 24 feathers. That just, that's just too much work for me, to be honest, because we can't see all the feathers at once. I think if we could see all the feathers and the designs on them at once, then this puzzle would be far more tolerable. But as it is, you have to check the feathers, remember every single one of them. You know, a way that would help this puzzle is if, you know, once a feather's already been used, it's like specially marked. 
I think the puzzle kind of does that, that once you've already used a feather, you, you can't pull it out again, maybe? Either way, I think this is too difficult of a puzzle, and that's why I just used hints the entire time to just cheat my way through the puzzle. Rather than just brute forcing the puzzle, I, I just used hints. Greetings, young lady. You have summoned me in vain. I only obey Queen Grace. You must demonstrate proof that the Queen has sent you before I will help you. Your wish is my command. Henceforth, I shall obey you as my master. I'm also, I'm also a princess. You, you think that Offret would like take note of that fact? I don't know. Anyway, we're switching over to King William. Hello, King William. Queen Grace is alive and well. I was sent by Lily to help you destroy the mirror. Nivella's mirror has a twin that is kept in the mirror hall. The door was sealed with a strong freezing spell. Only magical fire can melt this seal away. You must create this fire so that I can help you. Take this. You'll need it. So the Offeret acknowledges King William's royal status, but not Lily's royal status? Come on, that is not fair. Something which I also think is not fair is, is like, he's not, the, the Offeret is not using magic powers to help us. I have to do all the work, not the Offeret. Thank you for releasing me. The Twin Mirror is just beyond these gates. If Novella uses it, then all the years of life she has stolen from other people will be returned to them. I'll hold off the Obsidian Warriors while you work on that mirror. Take this. It's the only thing I can give you now. Yeah, honestly, I was expecting the Offred to use its magic powers to destroy the gate instead of Hand me a recipe so I can destroy the gate. My complaint makes sense, right? This offer is totally not as useful as I have been led to believe. I, I've been told that the genie in the magic lamp can do pretty much anything, but this genie is not, not granting the magic wish. This genie is forcing me to do all the hard work myself. I don't know if that means the genie is the lazy one, or I'm lazy. I could be the lazy one because I'm expecting the genie to do all the work. I will be honest, I don't know the difference between an offerit and a genie. This is the only place where I've heard that term offerit before. So let's see. We've made the magic fire. Let's see what happens next. Oh, and I solved the puzzle. I solved the puzzle. So this is a puzzle you want to touch all of the snowflakes. Whenever you land on a plus spot, it gives you more moves. Every time you move one step, it takes away one of your moves. Yeah, the offer totally doesn't help. Right. Great. It's all just me. I'm the one who makes it all the way... All the offer it did was give me that recipe. The queen made it seem like the offer it would do the work. She's like, oh man, the mirror can only be destroyed by the fire of an offer it. That's different from what we actually get, which is the offer it has a potion which will open the gate to the mirror hall. You have to solve puzzles here. We're not going to go back, by the way. Once we enter the mirror hall, th there's no going back solve puzzles here. This is a toy hammer. 
hammer. My hammer goes there to open up that door. And that gives the passage to the Dwarven Forge. You can't avoid your fate, William. You'll die here while I obtain eternal youth from your precious Lily. <laughs> Greetings, King William. It's me, Soldrin. I'm so sorry that you wound up here. I thought that staying close to Nyvella would be useful, and I wasn't mistaken. She still thinks I'm enchanted, so it's perfect for spying on her. Don't you worry. I'll tell Lily that you're in trouble. She'll find a way to help you. Great, I'm, I'm trapped in a cage again. And how is Soldrin supposed to find Lily? Isn't she using an invisibility cloak? How does Soldrin know she's right here? Hello, Lily. I'm happy to finally meet you, but I have some bad news. Nivella captured King William and is holding him in a cell. He needs your help. He discovered a way to return all the years that Nivella has taken from the people back to them. This is our chance to save everyone, and we can't miss it. I'm sorry that I can't stay any longer. Nivella mustn't notice that I'm absent from the prison. But take this, you'll need it. This does sort of tie into my earlier questions about uh, what if Novella steals all the lives, you know, all the years of somebody's life and kills them. So does this mean those years will go back to that person and then th they'll come back to life, maybe? That would, that would be nice. I mean, that would be a happy resolution. So now we're here. So I guess the, the underground dwarf kingdom this has to connect the two castles right because we're in the exact same area where king william is now lily and william are together again although i'm just sort of a, a silly guy so i purposely ignore william until the last moment i just thought that was funny but you can talk to william right now and i imagine most players talk to william right away because he's important, and talking to him is interesting. <laughs> but me, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it later. I've got some puzzles to solve. This is a pretty tricky slider puzzle where I'm just moving these pieces around. I started by trying to get the blue at the bottom. You can start by trying to get the green at the top. If you do so, it's basically this solution, but you turn everything upside down. So it's, it's a, a if you vertically mirror the solution. That gives us a hidden objects challenge. A different hidden objects challenge is a find the differences challenge. I find these ones to be difficult. I, I am not very good at the find the differences puzzles. because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> now I'm just waiting for the hint button to refill, hoping I can get the uh, correct answer before the hint button refills. But yeah, that's, that's the reason for the pause there in the gameplay. That's me being confused by that puzzle. All right, so we got the item. This is sort of going to lead us to a new area. I I think this might be connected because we're in the mirror hall, right? But this is a different part of the mirror hall. And the mirror hall is exactly where William was. So water is going to fix that plant. I'm obviously going to need to put a leaf there. Destroy that. Grab these items. Use 
place the chisel and hammer there. Giving me more items. It's an eyeball for the cat. We're gonna need a statue to put there, although that's not 100% obvious. That gives me a triple thing. I'm just gonna use dynamite to blow this up. Which I feel is kind of humorous to have that be a solution to a puzzle pretty late in the game. It's like, I'm not gonna try to solve this puzzle legitimately. I'm just gonna blow this thing up. Very violent solution indeed. So we put the three chess pieces in place. That gives us this hidden item. And that says set me on fire. So we are going to actually set it on fire. That's exactly what the thing told us to do. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're gonna grab this. And then grab this. Yeah, this area I, I thought was kind of difficult. Although the three-part column, I mean, it's pretty obvious it goes there. We've got the two puzzle pieces right next to each other on the same screen. I thought that was interesting. Use the magnet to grab that. That gives us a metal hanger. We're gonna move the metal hanger in such a way that it's a hook. Great. So put the two mirror fragments right next to each other. And that's a puzzle we'll solve later. I, I don't actually have the stuff for that. The water is cold. That's our reason why this puzzle exists. That's why we needed to make that hook. It's because Lily's like, I don't want to put my hand in the water. It's too cold. Like, seriously, Lily? Seriously? That seems kind of like a whiny excuse. This puzzle's simple enough. We want to make all foxes in the middle, all birds on the right, by swapping the tokens. That gives us the statue bust, which goes over here. The bust right in front of the mirror, huh? That gives us this... Let me see, this is her... complaining that she might... She's saying she's gonna die if she makes a mistake? Huh. And you'll notice my inventory is getting very small. That's how you know we're getting close to the end of this segment. It's the final segment that we play as Lily. So she's got all three items now. We, oh, we do need to dip that one item in the alcohol. That's right. Put all three of these items together. That gives us a working lighter, and we're gonna use the lighter to set that one thing on fire. And we put this here. This is kind of a tough puzzle. So you need to be very precise when rotating this thing. So we're rotating it clockwise four times, and then clockwise five times, then counterclockwise five times. You'll notice I'm going very, very slowly. That's sort of on purpose. The controls for this puzzle do force you to go slowly. So I'm, I'm also being careful, because if I mess up, I have to restart the puzzle. That will give me a hidden objects challenge. This is uh, put everything back in the right spot so the feathers go together, the various poisons go together, the quill goes in the ink stand. It's not really a hidden objects puzzle, it's more like a put everything in the right spot puzzle. We goes there. Why do we care about cleaning up this area, I have to wonder. Just making things easier for uh, Novella. Just cleaning up her area. And hey, we got the key to the cage with Prince William, so let's actually talk to him Lily, now. I'm so happy to see you. I found a way to save everyone from Novella's terror. If you can help me escape this prison. Yep, we need to destroy her mirror, as has been explained a few times. So, now we switch over to William for the rest of the game.
Novella's mirror is damaged. This is our chance to defeat her. Yes! And it's also weird, because the mirror is broken, but it's not destroyed. So even though it's broken, the mirror's magic is still in effect. You have gone too far. It's time to put an end to your meddling. Prepare to see your beloved Lily die. My mirror! I can't perform the last ritual without it. I'll make you a deal, William. Create a new mirror for me, and Lily will live a little while longer. Otherwise, you shall both die immediately. So it's good for us that the mirror did not completely kill Lily, because as, as indicated, the mirror is broken, not working 100%. It looks like it stole several years away from Lily, though. And I wonder what would have happened if King William had refused to help her. What would have happened next? Well, Novella indicates she would have just murdered Lily right away. But, it's, you know, if I fix the mirror, you're still gonna murder her. So either way, she's gonna be murdered. But this gives... It's also weird that Novella trusts William to fix the mirror for her. Why would she trust him on this? You'd think she would trust no one but herself with such an important mission. Especially when she's so upfront about the fact that, yeah, I am definitely going to murder your beloved once you're done. So this is kind of a difficult puzzle. You need to move the, the liquid across the various cups, so each cup has the correct amount, with four measures of blue, two measures of red, as you're just following the, the designs, as you can probably guess. So we now have another secret room. So many secret rooms. I wasn't a huge fan of this room either. So we need to cut this, and this is a somewhat interesting hidden objects challenge, but we're not going to do that hidden object challenge quite yet. Yeah, this doesn't seem to fit the theme of a, a mirror room, does it? Also seems kind of silly that I need to specifically chop that feather in that specific way so I can get the inkwell and quill. Also seems silly that you need to color that page in order to get behind it. I should be able to just pick up that page and move it, but hey, 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 puzzles. Puzzles are kind of silly sometimes. That piece goes there for a stained glass window hidden objects challenge. You'll notice we have three different parts of stained glass, and actually, it's a stained glass window of people making stained glass windows. So that's, it's like a double stained glass window in that sense. So you can switch between the red, the blue, and the green. That's pretty cool. So some items only appear in the blue area, some items only appear in the red area, and, and so on. So I, I find it easiest to just switch between the different colors. And it's like, okay, has anything new arrived in this area? It, it does... I find it a lot easier just to try to take note of the things that pop into existence. Rather than just trying to follow the list at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we've got some items. We got a bunch of items. Let's, um, I accidentally stepped backwards into the wrong area. We need to go to the forge. <laughs> yeah. So the ring goes there. We don't need to go back to the area with the uh, unhelpful offer it. You think the offer it could help here? Use some magic. 
We've got these two weights. Those two weights are incredibly useful in getting us to the actual forge. I need my protective goggles here. Use the tongs to grab that. It's the hot coal. Let's see. Back in the mirror hall. This is Luther's specific room. Okay. That's the deal with this room. All right. Finishing up with Luther's area before we finish. Before we make the mirror, I mean. Here's how to destroy the mirror. We, we're... Looks like he's... I'm not sure what... Hmm, now I'm confused, but either way, we, we are making it so the mirror does not work. We are trying to fool Novella by destroying her mirror instead of actually fixing it. Here we go. Give me the mirror. You thought you could deceive me? Let's see what you're made of, your Majesty. And this is the final challenge of the game. You want to. I mean, just reset. It changes the attack she's going to use. So, you want to attack. Whenever she's got a heart. Because when you attack when she's got a heart, that will take away one of her hearts. If you attack when she's doing attack, then both of you lose a heart. And if you attack when she's doing defense, then you do no damage to her. Uh, if you do heart, that will give you an extra heart if you've lost one. And if you defend, that protects you from any of her attacks. It is sort of just like guessing here in the final challenge, to be honest. Enjoy this victory, William. It was nothing more than a fool's luck that saved. And we did it! We finally defeated the evil Novella. Now Lily and everybody else goes back to normal. Their years have been returned to them. You saved me, and everyone who Novella has taken their youth from. William, you are the most courageous man I have ever met. I couldn't have done it without you, Lily. Your bravery and dedication amazed me to the depths of my heart. I'm so happy to be with you. Two of them fall in love, they presumably get married, and live happily ever after. Okay, so that is it for a Dark Romance Winter Lily. As I said, I believe I said towards the start of the video, uh, that was over an hour ago, about two hours ago at this point, so you have to forgive me for not remembering. There are some versions of this game that have... A bonus chapter so it's the collector's edition of this game that comes with a bonus chapter now I did do a normal walkthrough for this game so I did do a video walkthrough so you can go online and watch me play the bonus chapter if you really really want to however that will not be included in this particular video so yeah just just go elsewhere on YouTube you can watch my other videos on YouTube as well I've played other games in the dark Dark Romance series, just look for Dark Romance Argulfumpf, and presumably that will give you results about me playing the Dark Romance games. It would be weird if it's like, gave you a bunch of results about, like, my love life, trying to indicate I'm an evil villain with Dark Romance. That, that seems weird. I don't know. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna sign off here. You can watch the ending credits if you want. Uh, like this video, subscribe for more video content, and that sort of thing. 
Also, check out my books. I wrote a book called Stay at Home Detective, which is not a romance novel. I also wrote a book called The, the Kidnapped Prom Queen. That's also available as a game as well, and I feel like that has more in common with uh, this dark romance game, which did have an awful lot of kidnapping in it.